Hey everyone, this is Ken, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on a 15 furnace system. Now what's great about this guys, I wanted to take a whole different approach about this and really create something different. Now the cool thing is, all the redstone is right underneath your feet and everything is extremely discreet and silent. And we have a lot of cool features with this. I mean the whole thing is completely synchronized and it works perfectly smooth. Now before we even get to all those details, let me show you how this works. Now right here on our left hand side, we have a nice spot where you're going to put your fugue light, your coal, whatever the case is. And we also have a light indication system to let you know when you're running low. Which is great, because the last thing you want to do is put anything you want to smell or cook in the system with no fuel. Now once that light turns off, it's going to let you know that you're at a safe level, which you're above that mark, and you're good to go. So you don't have to worry too much. Now, as you can see underneath these hoppers, you really don't see anything in front of you. But the second you put things in, it gets sucked up immediately, which is awesome. And like I said, guys, everything is synchronized. We have a perfectly smooth system here. And we also have an overflow protection built in, meaning none of the items will actually get stuck in the hopper line when it's getting distributed evenly. And it works immediately, as you can see. I mean, trust me, it doesn't really take that long to cook a stack. I mean, it's so quick and so smooth, you're really going to see the difference. So let's jump right into this build. We're going to be using the standard texture pack and also check the description for further information. Now pause this video and make sure you have this set up. All right. Now at this point, guys, we're going to go right here to the corner and we're going to start counting. Okay. We're going to go out like three blocks to the left. So let's start one, two, three. Then we're going to count another one, two, three. And on the fourth one, you're going to place one block right there. Then we're going to place a furnace there with an additional 14 more right next to it. So you shouldn't have a total of 15 furnaces right across. Trust me, guys, it's going to get pretty repetitive. So we're going to be doing certain things quite a lot. Now, once we've done that, guys, you got your 15 furnaces. You're going to leave one block gap right there and place one dropper going upwards then you're going to place a hopper going towards that dropper and you're going to make a hopper line going all towards that direction because you want the items to be sucked up once they're cooked or smelt and go towards that direction so that's going to be like the finished product line that makes sense now right over here guys you're going to place one comparator you're going to place a block in front of it, and you're going to place a block on both sides. You're then going to place some redstone dust right there. Then you're going to get your repeaters ready, because then you're going to place it one there, and there as well. And you're going to place that redstone dust right there. Now, uh, my mistake, guys, make sure you turn that comparator on at all times. That's going to make a world of difference, especially when you have an overflow system. That's going to prevent anything from happening. And it pretty much prevents anything from jamming up. Now at this point, guys, you're going to place a redstone torch there, a block on top of it. And we're going to make a nice torch tower. So you're going to go back and forth like so in this block pattern. And in between, you're going to place the redstone torches back and forth. So you're going to place one there, there, one in the front. And repeat that pretty much all the way to the top. Now we're going to leave that like that for now. Now at this point, I want you to place a hopper behind each furnace and do that to each one. Then you're going to go on top of the furnace and place one hopper facing downwards. And you're going to repeat that once again to each one as well. Now, once you've done that, guys, you're going to place a chest right on top of that hopper and go back and forth between chest and trap chest all the way to the end. Perfect. Now, once we have that set up, guys, you're going to place a hopper going towards each chest, like so. Now, that's going to be the fuel line. Now, at this point, guys, you're going to place one block in front of that hopper and two more right across. 
Then you place a block underneath and one on top of it and delete the one in the center. Then you're going to place a comparator going forward towards that direction and one right there. So you should have this kind of setup. You're going to place some redstone dust there. And at this point, guys, we're going to place a hopper going towards the comparator and make a hopper line pretty much going all the way towards that direction. So basically make sure that each hopper is going towards the comparator. I'm going to pretty much line it up to that last one, you see? Fantastic. So it's really come together, guys. Now you're going to place one redstone torch. Well, you're going to place a block there. A redstone torch right there on that block. A block on top of the redstone dust. Well, redstone torch. With a redstone torch on the side of it. A block on top of that. Then you're going to place a block on top of that redstone dust with a repeater going forward and a repeater right there as well. Then you're going to place a block in front of that repeater. Now starting from this point, you're going to place one block there and extend it all the way to your parallel to the last hopper. See? It should be parallel to those hoppers. Then on top of each block, you're going to add one piece of redstone dust. Then from that point, you're going to add another row of blocks right on top of it, right across. Now, to really make this easy, guys, just aim your redstone dust at the block, and it's going to put it directly on top of the hoppers, and that's what you want to do. And this is very crucial, guys. Make sure you add a redstone dust right there on top of that block as well. Now, right now, we have the whole entire fuel system all set up. Now, here, guys, you're going to repeat the same thing with the chest, but you're going to use a large chest right across. Then you're going to place your hoppers right behind it like we did previously. Now, at this point, it should look just like this. Now, you're going to place a block there, and we're going to create that little T pattern that we did previously. See? And you're going to delete the one in the middle. You're going to add a comparator going forward there and one inside at that point. And some wrestling dust on top of that block. Then you're going to place a block there and of course extend it all the way to the front. Just like so. And you're going to add some wrestling dust and add a straight line right to the back. Stopping right there parallel to the hopper. Then you're going to add a repeater right there with a redstone torch right on the side of it to activate all that redstone dust. Then once again, guys, you're going to place a hopper going forward and make a hopper line going straight pretty much to that comparator. Fantastic. Then you're going to place a block on top of that redstone dust and extend that right across. And of course, add your redstone dust across there as well. And as you can see, there's a very repetitive pattern on both sides. Now we're going to change this up slightly because this is elevated a little bit. So you're going to add a redstone dust, redstone torch there with a block on top. And you're going to add one, two, and three blocks. You're going to delete these two. And you're going to add a half slab right there. Make sure it's a half slab. Because you don't want it to interfere with the chest underneath. Then you're gonna add a redstone torch right there on that block and a repeater going forward. Now, at this point, guys, you're gonna add an additional hopper right there on the side. Now, that's gonna be the main hopper line. So, you, of course, you wanna extend that outwards by one. And you can do it on both sides. Then you're going to place a block right on top of it and on top of that as well. Because trust me, that actually makes a difference. Then add two hoppers right there. One there and there. Add one more on top of there on the left-hand side. And add a chest on top of each one. Now on the left-hand side, you're going to add a hopper going towards the chest on the side. And then one forward. Or by this one, you're going to place one forward. And then one on the side of that hopper going towards the hopper, you see? So these two are leading to that one. 
Now, right over here, guys, you're gonna add one, two, and three blocks. You're gonna delete each one. And you add a dropper facing downwards with a hopper facing the same direction. Now, the reason I like to set it up that way because that's going to be the fuel line. Now, whatever you're going to use for your flooring, we're going to place a block right there and two on this side. And leave that two empty right there and then extend that right across. And for the rest, guys, you're going to fill that entire gap up with whatever you want to use as your floor. You see how nicely flush that is? It's a really nice finish, you know? Now at this point, we're gonna create the fuel indicator. So you're gonna add three blocks right there, starting with the first furnace. And that's where you're gonna place a comparator. You want it to read the signal off that furnace. Then you can place a comparator going forward towards that first one with a furnace right behind it, you see? And you're gonna add one block inside of it. Then you're gonna add a block right there in front of that comparator. A block there, some redstone dust. Then you're gonna add one block there and two like so, creating this kind of checker pattern. Then you're gonna add a repeater going forward on four ticks and a redstone torch right behind it. And what we have here is a nice little clock. We're just gonna create the nice pulse that we want for our light indication system. You can add some redstone dust there, then you're gonna place some half slabs like so. And that's gonna allow you to stream the redstone dust upwards. So of course, add some redstone dust like so on top of each half slab. Perfect. Now you wanna delete that hopper just for now, guys. All right, that's the main hopper for the, for the main items that you wanna smelt. But you're gonna delete that and I'll explain why. Now you're gonna place some blocks right there and two on this side as well. And right here, guys, you're gonna add two stairs right upside down. Because once again, you don't want nothing to interfere with those chests. Now at this point, add two blocks right there and you're gonna add two regular pistons facing downwards. Then you're gonna delete the excess blocks that we don't need and add one block on top of it and right over here, guys, you're gonna add a few blocks going forward like so, you can delete that. And the reason for that is because you're gonna place a rail on top of it with a minecart hopper. Then you're gonna delete the block so it could fall in. And of course, repeat that one more time. Now those rails are gonna fall right into that chest. The last thing you wanna do is put, make that into your furnace system. Now you're going to place two blocks there to represent your floor and two additional blocks on top and the lever right here. And then once you activate it, guys, it's going to push right down perfectly. Now what's going to happen here, guys, those blocks that are considered the floor also have a minecart hopper. So anything that falls on top of it is going to get sucked in immediately and go directly into the system as well. See? So trust me, they're right in there. What I love about it, it really makes everything really discreet and unnoticeable. Now, once you're ready and good to go, check the chest, make sure there's nothing in it, and place your hopper right back. Now, at this point, guys, you're going to place some hoppers, I mean droppers, going upwards from this point, and you're going to leave it like so. Now, guys, I made a slight mistake when making this design. We're going to have to delete this little item elevator section, and we're going to delete this as well. It was a small little mistake, but trust me, it's an easy correction, nothing too crazy. You're gonna add a repeater right there with a block in front of it and some redstone dust on the side. Then you're gonna add a block right there. And once again, you're gonna repeat that redstone torch tower that we made. So we're gonna be going back and forth, just like so, and extend that upwards. So that was a slight modification that we had to correct. Now, at this point, guys, we're going to place either a chest, if you want to, right there. Or you can do what I did previously and add two hoppers facing each other to give that nice grill effect. 
Now, what I also did, guys, I also added a pressure plate on top of it to kind of give it a little more realistic view to it. I mean, I really want to make this look just as nice as it works, you know? Now, at this point, guys, I'm going to place some blocks right around it. And, of course, add an additional chest right there because that's going to be your input. Now, all you have to do at this point, guys, is add one hopper going forward. And the item elevator is complete. Now, at this point, guys, what I did was I added some glowstone on top of the chest to really enhance it. And I added some additional blocks on the side to really decorate it. Now, starting right here next to the chest on the left-hand side, you're going to add a redstone lamp. And that's going to be your fuel indicator. So, once again, add some blocks right across. And if you want to, you can add some upside down stairs in the center to really make this pop out more. Now, at this point, guys, we're going to go right behind here. We're going to add a half slab there with some rest of dust. And of course, we're going to go back and forth with this half slab pattern. So place a half slab there, delete that, add another half slab there, and then we're going to continue on with our rest of dust. Then you're going to extend it from that point, and you're going to put it right across until you activate the rest of lamp. And there it is, guys. At this point, you could decorate it and make it to your likings, and you're good to go. <laughs> anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching. Remember to please leave a comment and to click that subscribe button if you want to join. Thank you.